Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up with how everybody's doing? Listen, I did a program with NECA. NECA was a program, it was a home buying program. I just did that orientation. So for me, I knew this year, next year, that I want to be somebody and be a homeowner. So I just heard the information, looked at a, did my research, and then I got into work. My work was to get the orientation started. So I applied for an orientation. I missed it like, I don't want to say at least four times because of my work schedule. And plus, when you work night shift, baby, you don't think about it on phone. You think about some sleep, right? Right. So therefore, I did it again. I forgot about it. My phone didn't alert me or anything, so I had to remember the date and print it out and put it on the refrigerator. But listen, I did a program. Well, I enrolled into the program for one last time. Boy, I had to hurry up and remember that and I'll kind of flag it in an email. So listen, I did a program. I went into the program. I did a orientation, basically. I think it was a four hour orientation Zoom. So what I did, I signed up, re-signed up again, maybe for the fourth or fifth time this time. And when I got in this time, after I got done working third shifts, I kind of sit and heard all the information that was doing. So I'm trying to get the see the what's all the the hype about this. You know what I'm saying? No down payment, no PDI, no application fee. So NECA will help you with all of this. So I'm saying to myself, this must be a good part program. Should I get started? Yes, I should. Should I do a little bit more homework with it? Yes, I should. So, once I did the orientation, I kind of sit there for the whole four hours, listen to all the information that I have done, hear everybody else's spirits, what they did to get into the program. NECA is, is a program that will help you get become a homeowner. But on a backtrack, credit is an issue, but not that much of an issue for them. They want to make sure that you have the income and you have all of this to make sure you can pay it. And they're making so bad. In this information, it was a lot. I'm giving you my summary. They don't care what you buy. Single family house, a duplex, condominium, um, a townhouse, a mobile house. And then it was something else. Even though most of these are uh, FHA. So they have a different type of system that they use to get you approved. Even though they are not forced on they on your credit, but it's always good to fix that up for yourself. Um, even though they are going to look at that. So they want to know the spills. Your income ratio. You're going to do their back. They're going to do a background check on you and any other bills that you can maintain. So, um, once, once I did the orientation with them, one lady said it took her almost a year and a half to get everything correctly, only because of stuff keep popping up for her. Or one other lady said that she have a duplex, but she rented out the, uh, one of her properties. So, it's good. So once I did the program and, and I was interested and I got all the information and they give you a code. So if you lose that code, you can just call customer service because you was at a program. But, and if you're ready, one of the, um, um, customer service operators, they will ask you, help you with the start, help you start the process. Okay. So once you help start the process, they will know get to the process too. So you gotta submit your ID, your social security income, your income, and all that other good stuff, and any other income that you receive, like so, um, social security, child support, um, any other benefits, state benefits. Go to your program and show a list or any other statements for the program. I kind of got briefed because I was exhausted, but my summary of this. They will help you out. So once you submit all this to the on their website and they will give you the link and you fill out the whole application, 
they will get started for you. So in the midst of this, this is almost 2024. What are we waiting on? Let's start this process. Let's go ahead and become a homeowner. Um, yes, but let's backtrack a little bit. If you need to fix your credit, fix your credit. Do not hire anyone to fix your credit. You can do that yourself. Social media is a big one. And they will give you tools and tips how to fix your credit. And two, fix your own credit. You do not need to pay anybody. If any hard inquiries on your credit, remove them. Old phone numbers, old addresses, remove them first. There's letters out here. TikTok and YouTube is your best friend, <laughs> baby. Do it the work if you want to become a homeowner, okay? And in the midst of all that is to become a homeowner, fix that, fix that. Why are you starting the process? Why are you doing before you start the orientation? So you will be ensued to know the information. Write notes down. Get all the information that you need. Ask questions as much. This is your girl Natalia. I started the process and I'm starting two other programs to become a homeowner. Again, what are we waiting for? Become a homeowner. Talk to you later.